Hi everybody, my name is Bill from Bill Lock Designs in Montreal and this evening I just want to share with you this wonderful collection of fabric from the classic collection Fab Scrap South Africa as well as the design for the classic pinwheels table runner from me, Bill Lock Designs. I just want to do a little video to go over how the pinwheels are done for this particular project. Normally when we cut triangles to make pinwheels, we end up with triangles that are cut on the bias, and that means that they end up with a little bit of stretch. So when you sew them together, you risk the seams not actually matching up, especially when you're joining the triangles together afterwards to complete the pinwheel. I want you to take a look at the squares that I've done here because all of the pinwheels in this project are done with half square triangles that are made by simply sewing on the squares. So what I've taken are my large squares for the large pinwheels and the small squares for the small pinwheels. I've got my two fabrics, my light and my darks, and I've got them right sides together for both of these. And I've drawn a line with a pencil from one corner to the other in both directions. Once you have your lines drawn, we're going to sew a quarter of an inch seam down along the sides, both sides of that line. So you see my line that I've drawn is right here in the middle, and I have a quarter of an inch seam on both sides of that line. I've done the same thing on the other line going in the other direction. Once my four seams are sewn on my squares, I'm going to cut through the middle of the squares this way and that way to end up with four of those portions like that. And then I'm going to cut on the pencil line, which will in turn split these and I will end up with eight half square triangles. Now when I look at the half square triangles, I have half of the dark, half of the light. I will simply take my half square triangles and I will press it open with the seam pressed towards the darker portion of my square. You will find that once you press them open, you'll end up with little tiny dog ears. You just cut those off and make a nice little square. It's nice and clean. And as you can see, I've laid them out by simply turning the half square triangles to give myself this pinwheel shape that I want for this particular runner. Once your pinwheels are turned in the right direction, I will sew them together. I will sew the two top ones. I will sew the two bottom ones. And then I will sew the top to the bottom, completing that pinwheel block. And that's exactly how that runner is done. It's just a wonderful arrangement of half square triangles, fun pinwheels, in a collection of fabric by Fab Scrap South Africa that's beautiful and wonderful to work with. And I think that you all need to get this pattern, get these fabrics, and make this table runner. Thank you for sharing this moment with me, and happy stitching.